Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with symbolic algebra in IPython. So for this, we need SymPy and you can install it by typing pip install SymPy. Once you install that, you can execute the code explained in the video. Now type in Jupyter Notebook because we are going to run this code in IPython. You can also type IPython Notebook. Okay, now here, click on new button, click on Python 3. Now, inside your input box in Jupyter, now type in from numpy import star, also from simpy import star. And then we will first create imaginary or real number comparison so x equals to symbol and here let's say i want x to be real okay so i'm going to make it true okay now we will say x dot is imaginary returns to true or false Okay, so it's not imaginary and it is real. Now what if I want to check whether a number is positive or negative? So we can do that. Again, simply replace this real with positive. Okay, make sure that this is capital. We can also go with small if you want. And then check x is greater than zero. Now click on sale run again and it will show you true if you make it false then you can get answer as x greater than zero is wrong it will return as is okay now we will also check rational numbers with simpy okay let's see r1 equals rational 3 5 okay then r2 equals rational 5 dash 4 okay then r1 cell run okay so you get the rational number answer here also you can go with r1 plus r2 then run the code same for r1 by r2 run the code so here you get the idea of how to work with rational numbers now for algebraic manipulation type in simplify and then let's say i want to check cos x by sin x Okay, and let's check out. It says one by ten. Okay, what if I want to check cos sine a by two? Let's say sine a by two plus cos a by two. Okay, we can specify a here let's say it's 25 and if we check the values okay so there is extra bracket here now run the code and you'll find it shows one so with 
SymPy, we can check imaginary numbers, positive or negative, relational numbers, rational numbers, algebraic manipulation, and scalar operation. Okay, so this was a short intro on how to use NumPy, SymPy in your symbolic algebra.